Hello everyone, it's Mary Beth and today I'm going to walk you through how you can send a retainer and apply that retainer to invoices or deposits on your material project. There's a lot of reasons you might collect a retainer. Oftentimes you might be doing this at the beginning of a project to secure funds. You might be doing it throughout the project if you have a larger project and you don't want your client to have to pay lots of little invoices, but rather larger amounts that you can apply to multiple invoices. So let's dive into how you can send and collect a retainer in Materio. To collect a retainer, what you're going to do is first navigate to the project that you need to collect a retainer on. Then you're going to go to the left here to the finances tab and then click on billing at the top. You're going to hit the button new that has a plus sign next to it and select retainer. I'm going to add in a name for my retainer. And that's going to create the line item for the retainer. I'm going to name this retainer at the top here so that I can easily find it later if I need to. And also my clients can have access to it um, and understand really quickly what it is when they look at the list of billing documents in their account. Now, the other thing I wanted to note is that when you're sending any type of payment document in Materio, you do have the ability to get paid through Materio using our Stripe integration, and you can turn on and off credit card, ACH transfer, or wire transfer, and there are fees associated associated with this, but the default is that the client would cover those and you can always toggle, turn those off or on or switch those around. So now I'm going to send this uh, retainer request over to my client by hitting send. And then for the sake of this, I'm going to say that my client has written me a check and so I'm going to apply that payment manually. So I'm going to click apply payment and do new payment received. This is where you could put whether it was a check put in reference numbers or information, as well as send a confirmation over to your client so that they know this is deposited and all taken care of. So now that this retainer has been paid, you'll notice that over here on the right, I have my project balances, and then you can see I have a retainer available of 25,000. So now this retainer can be used now and in the future on different types of documents like invoices or deposits across your project. Now I'm going to quickly show you how you can apply this to an invoice uh, for payment without having to send it to your client again. So I'm going to come back to new and do invoice, and I'm going to add some hours to my invoice. You can of course do this for products, hours, etc. but for this, I'll just do hours. And then I can come down and apply payment and I would click from retainer or credit. Now you can see that I can apply the $540 from this retainer to this invoice and send it over for the records, but now it'll be marked as paid. You'll also see that uh, my retainer available has been decreased and my total scope invoice over here on the left has increased. So you get a great view of your financials and your client's invoicing progress right here in your billing tab. All right, that is how you can send a retainer request and get payment on that. If you have any questions about how to use retainers across your projects or in billing, you can always reach out to us at hello at material.co or live chat us from the app. Have a great day.